Welcome to the balanced body exercise sequence using the combo chair in conjunction with two precision rotator discs. I'm seated on one uh, nine inch rotator disc with no resistance. There are non-skid mats underneath and on top. And then I have both feet on another rotator disc. The chair pedals are uh, independent. There is no dowel in and the chair springs, I'm using the light springs. You can have the heels of your hands over the sides of the pedals, or you can have your fingers facing um, forward towards the box you're sitting on, or your fingers facing back. We'll do, I'll demonstrate only one set of these using the hands over the sides of the chair pedal. Now, here you are with your elbows extended and lifting your chest bone, lifting your gaze, you have thoracic and cervical extension. Rotate your pelvis on the disc and bending one elbow, straighten it as you come back to the middle. So you maintain, sustain extension with rotation, turning towards the pedal that's coming up, turning towards the elbow that's bending. Now, turn towards the pedal that's pushing down. So you have extension, rotation, and a bit of side bending. Extension, rotation, and side bending. Scanning the heavens for signs of intelligent life. This one is guaranteed to get you out of your laptop neck and computer posture screen devices slump. Now, as you push the pedal down, turn to look over the shoulder that belongs to the pedal that's going down, and then rotation to look over the other shoulder. You're still sustaining an amount of uh, a bit of lumbar and lower thoracic extension, but then your cervical spine rotates to look in the direction of flexion towards the pedal that's pushing down, and then turn to look towards the pedal that's coming up, steering your pelvis to turn towards the pedal that's going down, your head, neck, and eyes look towards the pedal that's coming up. Now we have a, um, a circular, an oval motion, extension, side bending, flexion, side bending, extension, and flexion. Two more of these. And again, reverse, extension, side bending, extension, side bending and flexion, last two of these and last one. The next event in this sequence involves sitting on top of the discs on the chair top with one foot on your pedal. Climb off the box, move your stack of disc and two mats to the back of the chair top. And then change your springs so that instead of, using the, instead of using the lighter springs for your arm work, you'll use the stronger springs for your footwork. You can use the box you were sitting on for a footstool. Just move it to the back of the chair. With your side to the chair pedal, perch on your disc in external rotation, sitting high in a neutral pelvis, neutral spine. As you push the pedal down, turn on the disc, pelvis, ribs, shoulders, neck, head, and eyes to turn towards the pedal that's pushing down, and then turn as it comes up. Turn towards as you push down, and away as you come up. Two more of these, using the ground force of your foot on the box and steering with your sitting bones. 
Now change up the movement relationship. As you push the pedal down, turn away. As the pedal comes up, turn towards. Turn away and towards. Turn away and towards. Steering with your sitting bones and appreciating the medial and lateral hip glide. Do something similar now with a parallel stance. So the sole of your first three toes are on the chair, the top of the chair pedal. Your heel is firmly anchored. The architecture of the chair is such that as the pedal comes up, it's rotating your femur into internal rotation and adduction and a medial hip glide. As you push the pedal down, turn towards it. As it comes up, turn away. Steering with your sitting bones. Steering with your sitting bones. Twice more, turning towards the pedal as it goes down and away as it comes up. Change up the movement relationship. As you push the pedal down, turn away. As it comes up, turn towards. Turn away and towards. Turn away and towards. Last two of these end. Last one. For your next side, You'll move the stack of disc and two mats to the edge of the chair and then climb aboard, starting in external rotation with the sole of your midfoot on the chair pedal. As you turn towards the chair pedal, push the pedal down, steer pelvis, rib, shoulders, neck, head, and eyes to look away from the pedal. Ex usually, exhalation is paired with uh, spine flexion or spine pushing the pedal down. Exhalation is paired with, um, with depressing the pedal and inhalation is paired with coming up. Now reverse the movement relationship Turning away, exhale, and turning towards, inhale. Turning away and towards. Two more of these. This mobility of the hip joints and of your pelvis lumbar spine is facilitated by who else you're gonna call your precision rotator discs. Now your foot is in parallel. As you push the pedal down, turn towards and turn away. Steer pelvis, ribs, shoulders, neck, head, and eyes. Now I mentioned earlier that usually or oftentimes we do an exhalation on the exertion as in pushing the pedal down. Change that up now. Inhale as you push the pedal down. Inhale to rotate one more of these and then change up the movement relationship first the exhalation on the pedal depression and then the inhalation on the pedal depression so many variations right how much time have you got Inhale and exhale. Inhale, or you could just leave the breathing alone and be grateful that it will take care of itself. Our third event with the combo chair involves using a two precision discs, one per foot, and I have the springs on the um, heavier setting with the light, with, for the lighter springs on the heavier setting. In a forward bend, you'll have your hands over the edges of the pedals or with your hands, um, knuckles facing the chair. You could have them in um, external rotation, but I would think it's preferable to one of the first 
two choices. With an internal rotation, aiming your knees, uh, your toes inwards towards each other, press down with your left hand, turning towards your right elbow, maintaining an internal rotation. And then something similar with external rotation, turning towards your bending elbow. I'm going to move the discs back just a little bit from the chair, and that will make more room for a forward bend so we can alternate spine flexion and spine extension. Turning all toes to the left, press down with your right hand, turning towards your bent left elbow, and turning all toes to the right, press down with your left hand, turning towards your inner right elbow. So all toes turn towards the elbow that's bending. All toes turn towards the elbow that's bending. One more of each of these, probably pairing exhalation and exhalation, one pedal pushing down. Now press down with the straight elbow, uh, press down with the same hand where your toes are pointing and you look towards the other elbow. Pressing down with the straight arm where your toes are pointing. Press down the pedal that aims where the heels are, aim are pointing, the heels are aiming. A reminder that you stand best you can equally on uh, both feet. The tendency is to shift towards the um, shift towards what would be your back foot. Don't do that. Stay on your front foot as well. Now we have spine extension in external rotation and spine flexion with internal rotation turning out lumbar, thoracic, and cervical extension, lumbar, thoracic, and cervical flexion. Again, inhalation, pushing the pedals down, exhalation coming up, external rotation from your hip joints, and internal rotation, reverse direction, internal rotation in flexion, external rotation to come up in extension, Turning in and out. Two more of these. And now we have a, a combination of spine extension, spine flexion, and spine extension. Reverse direction. Last two of these end. Last one. You might ask yourself, why are we doing this? Because the neuromyofascial system has a veritably infinite uh, number of vectors and attachments from the soles of your feet up to your eyebrows and to the palms of your hands. And when you combine the, the rotator discs with the chair pedals, the separate chair pedals, you can get involved with so much flossing, so much neural flossing of your um, all the connectivities between the soles of your feet and your hands. Makes breathing easier when you have stimulated the area towards the back of your lungs. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll look forward to being with you next time when we combine the precision rotator discs with a variety of different pieces of equipment. 
See you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>